When Docker's men search for gang recruits, that man assumes a new disguise. The spies are suspicious, however, and capture him until Robin takes a hand. The Batman's outside. Let's get him. Thank God. Costume, sir. No, thanks. The Batman and Robin still have work to do. Now, let's turn Marshall over to the police. He's no good to us anymore. And don't forget to call Captain Arnold and tell him he can pick up Fletcher at the Sphinx Club. I don't think he'd find Fletcher there. But don't you want the rest of those hoodlums apprehended, sir? Not yet. We may discover the leader of the gang through them. I'm not going to talk, so you might just as well let me out of here. Sure, Marshal. That's just what we're going to do. Just another package from a Batman. Let's get him inside to the captain. How dare you come here? Are you trying to lead the police to this place? I couldn't stay at Bernie's place. The Batman suddenly appeared. You told me yourself he was buried under tons of rock at Colton's mine. I thought he was. He must have escaped somehow. Escaped as usual. And now you let them discover our connection with the Sphinx Club, making it worthless to us. That knowledge won't do him any good. I personally killed him on the wharf outside the club. I do not appreciate your sense of humor. I wonder if there's more than one Batman. All members of the same organization. Section 1. Section 50 reporting. Proceed. Friends of the League of the New Order obtained a supply of radium, which will reach here shortly. Excellent. We will report later when and where you can receive it. Very good. 
I have radium will enable us to complete the atom disintegrator and start our work of destruction. <clears throat> you may remain here for the present. Thanks. We are only protecting ourselves, not you. A pity Marshal was killed in that mine disaster instead of you. Telegram, sir. Thank you. It's a code message from Washington. I think that's Miss Page out, but she phoned she was coming over. Yes, sir. Take it in the lab, Dick, and start decoding it. I'll join you shortly. Hello, Linda. Well, it's good to see you. Won't you sit down? Have some coffee. I'll have Alfred bring you a cup. No, thank you. What's wrong? Why didn't you keep your date with me last night? Well, I took Dick to the amusement park and we had such fun we lost all track of time. Did you two go all by yourselves? Why do you ask? I thought perhaps you might have taken your friend, Chuck White. <laughs> now, what have you got against poor Chuck? Oh, I just don't like his face. I don't understand why you associate with such people. Well, I admit he isn't much to look at, but I found him a very good friend. Well, if you like him so well, why don't you take him to lunch today in my place? Uh, but, Linda... Say. Large amount of radium stolen from Michigan Hospital in Chicago. Suspect connection with radium thieves in your territory. Exercise extreme vigilance. Signed Flanagan, Midwest Division. Oh, I think Flanagan's hunch is right. This looks like a job for the Batman. No. Chuck White can handle this much better. Come upstairs while I change. There are some things I wish to discuss with you two gentlemen. Section one. Section 50 reporting. Proceed. Messenger carrying the radium is aboard plane arriving at 9.20 tonight. Any further details? We have information that the police are searching baggage of all passengers. Therefore, suggest that you use plan 18. That messenger aboard plane notified to this effect. I'll attend to it at once. Very good. Preston arranged to have everyone meet me here tonight at 7. I wish to explain in detail the plan 18 to all of you. All right, sir. Wallace. I'm still waiting to meet the new members you lined up for the league. I have several prospects lined up now. Then bring them to our Bell Street house so I can look them over Very and well. judge their fitness. This message does came over the radio for you, Mr. Lawson. Oh, thank you. what to do. You're here again. Look, but maybe I did get a little out of hand last night, but I heard someone yell Batman, so I took it on the lamb. Let me talk to Fletcher, will you? Fletcher ain't here, but maybe you can tell me why you pulled that gun on him last well, night. I thought it was a stick-up when he started to frisk me. Well, Fletcher may be here after a while, so if you want to wait, sit over there. Not yet, but there's a guy over there waiting for Fletcher. I'm a friend of Mr. Fletcher's. I understand you're looking for him. Well, glad to meet you, mister. Sit down. What is it you want of Fletcher? Well, I thought maybe he needs a bodyguard or something. Of course, I'm open for any kind of odd job. Yeah? Well, I don't think he'll be here today, but I might use a man of your caliber. I didn't catch the name, mister. We'll skip it for now. If you want the job, come on. What can I lose? Hey, where are you going? To get the car. It's just down the street. Nothing doing. You don't trust me with your name, I don't trust your car. We're going to hack on it at all. Hey, taxi. 
I like your nerve. I ain't nosy. I don't care where you're going. You can whisper the address to the driver. Bell Street, corner of Hill Avenue. Keep the change. Thank you, sir. Come on in, make yourself at home. I'll be right back. That's okay. I got no place to go. Oh, he looks like a cheap gangster, but try him out. Take him with you on tonight's assignment. Watch him closely. Okay. May not be here shortly. When I light this flare, our messenger will drop the package which is attached to a parachute. Now scatter out, so warning we'll be sure and get him. We'll cover this side, Preston. You come over here with us, Chuck. Chuck, you better watch from about here. Okay. I'll drop back a little ways. Burke, you go on ahead. I'd better keep an eye on you. Chuck White, he got away. Why didn't you stop him? We tried it, we put up a fight. All right, all right. Get the package first, we'll settle with White or whoever he is later. The plane. Get out there. There she comes. Watch for the shoot. Time for Batman and Robin to take over.
Here she comes. The man at the wheel of that truck is a killer, and he's out to get the passenger. Will he succeed? Don't fail to see A Nipponese Trap, Chapter 11 of Fat Man, at this theater next week.